Hello, my crabby cancers. We're doing your reading for February 2022. And then I'm going to tell you, I've been having more of these uh, real super traditional hoodoo oils. I got a new one coming out. So stay tuned to the end for that one. If you are new here, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Comments and utterances of discontent will be met with love and humor. We use two decks. So don't click off after the first deck. And I keep having hairs. The last couple of readings, I've had hairs like stuck in my deck, which is, I've never had that before. Okay, let's see what's going on cancers. And when I say crabby cancers, I mean that with love. I love cancers, I love them so much. But they let you know their feelings. Don't you cancer? Very much. Let's see what's going on. And if you like this, you know, take, take what applies to you, leave the rest. And if you like this, you can always get a personalized reading with me down below. Don't forget to click down below. There's all sorts of really cool links to like new stuff at the store, just to the store, um, how to get a reading with me. I also, oh, I don't have any with me. I do, I do have some with me. I also have some really cool things on Mercari. Um, so check that out. Oh, cancer, oh, cancer, oh, cancer. Let me see something here. This is, these are a lot of challenging cards. You have a lot of challenging cards coming up for February. You may even have heartache. It looks like something is going on. You're going to get some news. You know, you're going to get some news, but I really think you're going to turn it around. I really do. I don't love these cards. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie to you, Cancer. I don't love these cards. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It does turn around. It does turn around, but it's going to be closer to spring. Okay. So what it says here is you have a challenging situation you've been working on. This could be a work situation or a love situation because the clubs are the suit of working, okay? And then it says in February, you're going to be very sad about something. You may even cry. You may be like, oh my God, this is too much. You know, but it's it's not going to be that bad. If this card was the other way, it would be full depression. But I think it's going to be a little bit of bad news. And then boop, you move on. Now, you are going to have to start over on something. This may be a work project. This may be a relationship. Doesn't mean that it's over. The tower card freaks a lot of people out. But here's the thing about the tower tower card. Every card, by the way, is a novel. Every single card, huge novel. So, so this tower blows up. Yes, it does. And it was faded, okay? But when this tower crumbles, what if you, if you go on in the story, okay? What actually happens is they use the bricks to build a stronger, better, bigger tower. They build a better foundation. So this thing that happens in February, does it implode? Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I can't lie to you. It could be February, it could be March. Um, it's looking like you're kind of unhappy about a situation, but it 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 is a challenge and you do get through it. This card right here tells me you get through it because then you come back better. You decide to do something completely different and better, which is why I pulled these extra future cards. And it says there's going to be an offer and there's going to be you moving forward. This chariot card is not a card of just you like just moving on like, Oh, I got to pick up the pieces. No, this is somebody with purpose. So things are going to kind of go a little sideways in February. But again, I don't see you going into like depression. I don't see it. It doesn't seem it's going to be that terrible. Could be a breakup, could be a job loss, could be, um, you know, something like just you unexpected, but hey, you're watching this and now it's expected. And then it says you recoup and you recoup better and stronger and you move forward and you do really well. So I'm sorry, Cancer. I don't like to give bad news, but I am completely honest. And don't forget, um, you have a rising sign and you have a moon sign also. So I would check those. Just Google it. Everybody's is different. Obviously, I can't, I can't tell you your rising sign and moon sign. So put in your birthday and put in moon sign and put in rising sign. Cancer is your sun sign. And watch all of the videos and they'll give you a good, like, you know, a good rounded what's going to happen. Because let's say you have like a moon in Leo and, you know, Leo for February, when I do the reading, um, is about love. You'll know that it's, you'll, then you'll get a little more information. You'll know it's about a love situation. Okay. Or maybe it's about where, you know, so, so kind of put all three of those together or don't forget, go ahead down below. And I, I love doing readings for people. I love, I love, love, love. And my phone number is right down below. You can go ahead and just text me and I will get back to you immediately. And um, yeah, we'll go from there and I can get you a personalized reading. And don't forget, if something is going on and you want to work on it, I can do spell work for you also. So nothing, there's nothing we can't solve. 
Now, if you are new here, this is the other deck I use. This is a very modern deck. This says dirty, dirty curse words. So if you don't like curse words, I'm probably not the person for you, number one. And number two, you, you can go ahead and shut off now because it's going to get a little, little uh, raw. Okay. Um, so what I do is I close my eyes and I pull three of these cards. And why I like these cards is they have very modern stuff. Like there's cards that say like, stop texting, you know, pay attention, things like that. And this is, I'm going to ask the cards for what cancer, what cancer needs to know for February, 2022 to get through this little, little rough patch. Okay. So here we go. Close my eyes. What does cancer need to know? Hold on. I kind of got a weird, a weird vibe on the card here. What does cancer need to know? Okay. Oh, we got three different colors. I don't, for whatever reason, and you know, I have a math degree. I should probably know this. Um, but, um, I almost always get two of one color. So what are the chances of that math people out there? Get a hold of me. What are the, what's the probability of that? Cause it's four colors. So it'll be a permutation before times three times two times one time to the second. I think I don't remember. Oh my God. Okay. Cancer time to let it go. Because don't forget cancer. You are my emotional, you know, I was on the phone with somebody the other day, a very nice um, young lady. And we were talking, um, and, uh, because she was a Leo and her person was a Pisces. And, and I was like, Oh, I love Pisces because Pisces are the silent cancers because cancers, when they have an emotion are out with it, you know, they'll, you'll know, and, and they express and they emote. And a lot, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of Hollywood stars, a lot of actors, um, and theatrical people are cancers. And Pisces are cancers, except they keep it in. They kind of, they kind of bury it. And it's still there. It's still that a lot of emotion, but it's internal. So, so, um, so it's because she was talking about her person and I said, well, if you have a Pisces, you really have a cancer. So, uh, but, but when behind closed doors, so time to let it go. So if you're a cancer, you know, this, you know, that you're, you know, in your, in your feels a lot and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, it says move the fuck on. So yeah, I mean that piggybacks on this beautifully. There's something that's going to happen. It's not, it may seem like a bad thing at the time cancer. I'm going to be honest with you, but it is for your greater good. And it is going to, you know, if we weren't uncomfortable, we wouldn't change. If we weren't uncomfortable, we wouldn't move on. We wouldn't get the better job, the better relationship, the better house, the better, um, credit score, the better car, the better, um, change our bodies, things like that. So, so there is a certain amount of pain and uncomfortableness you do have to go through, but it's part of the process of letting go and building better. Right. My dad used to always say, you know, I'd be like, why is this happening? He's like, cause you haven't had enough pain yet. <laughs> it sounded so cruel when I was young, but yeah, that's basically what it is. It says you're giving your power away. You're a badass. act like it. Yeah. Cancers. I agree with that one. Don't, I mean, get in your feels because that's your process, but then use those feels to empower the next stage that you got to go through. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking alone time and you know why. You know, I will say I love my cancers. I really do. I can't say enough good about cancers, but don't ask every Tom, Dick and Harry for their opinion because that, I think that's going to keep you cycling longer than you need to. Okay. So you may want to have some alone time with, you know, you're going through this and you can always call mama D. I will totally talk you through it. I will totally, um, help you out, you know, whatever you need to do. And we'll make a game plan. I don't know if you've never had a reading with me, please get a reading. They're awesome. Number one, I've been doing this for 450,000 years and, um, I use a lot of science. I use a lot of math and a uh, hermetic system also to do the cards. But on top of it, I am, uh, trained in psychology. I do have a master's degree in psychology. And what I like to do when we have reading is I like to, um, give you usable steps and a plan to move forward. So whatever your goal is, I don't care what your goal is. It's, it's your life. You got to live it. So we just talk about what you need. And then we make a look at the cards. I tell you what's likely to happen. And then we make a plan and get you going on the next step. Cause feeling stuck is probably the worst feeling. Okay. Now let's move on. So thank you for hanging in there. If you don't want, if you're just done with the reading, 
you go ahead and click off. If you want to share this with somebody, that would make me very happy. I want to, I just hit 500 subscribers, which doesn't seem like much, but to a little tiny old lady YouTuber like me, it's, it's amazing. So let's go for 550. Let's go for six. Let's go for a thousand, whatever. So don't forget to subscribe. Um, and I'm going to go over some uh, new products real quick. And yeah, that's about it. So don't forget to check out the store because I'm having more traditional hoodoo products, the Etsy store. And um, also, if you want anything, um, I am doing a, a discount. So if you go by invoice, um, I can give you an instant discount instead of uh, going through the store. If there's anything you see at the store you like, that's fine. Um, but I have everything in my private store also. So let me know and I can invoice you. Go ahead, that, that phone number down below, just text me. Just be like, hi, my name is. Please don't just say hi and because I don't know who you are. <laughs> so I'll get a lot of messages during the day where it's just like, this is what's going on. And this is what happened with my boyfriend. And this is what happened with my job and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, what's your name? So just say, hi, this is so-and-so. I saw you on, you know, Etsy, YouTube, whatever. And, you know, uh, and then we can go from there. I, and pretty much anything you tell me, we can work on, we can fix. Okay. So now back to the Etsy store. I think I'm going to have some new soaps. I do have sugar daddy soap, I have money drawing soap, I have all sorts of wonderful soaps. So don't forget I make everything custom when it when the order comes in. I don't have stuff sitting on the shelves. I make it immediately and ship it out. So there is a one to three day processing time just for that. That's the only thing. But um, And then I have new oils. I have a um, cast off evil oil. I think I have it as go away evil or away evil because on Etsy you can only have three words in the title be capitalized. So I think it was like away evil oil or evil away oil, something like that. It'll be linked down below. And that is for anything you need for like protection. You need, let's say you move into a new place and you want to like cleanse it and get rid of anything bad from the person before. Let's say you have some um, nightmare bitch at work that is driving you crazy. Um, let's say you have an ex, you know, anything you want to get bad away from you. Okay. That's what you need. And then I have Moses oil and Moses oil is good for anything you do with magic, sigils, seals, wisdom, knowledge, anything like that. You're going to want to use Moses oil for now these, by the way, I have my regular oils. I have sugar daddy. I have money. I have upgraded money oil, which is really good. If you gamble, um, I have all those regular stock oils that are always going to be in these oils that I'm talking about. And I'm going to talk about a new one in a minute are last chance. Okay. Because of COVID, because of a whole bunch of stuff, it's harder to source stuff. And it's not, um, it's not prudent for me to keep oils going when, when there's, uh, the, the, the market is kind of weird right now. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell off the oils that I do have and that's it. Then they're done. Okay. So if you want to get any of these oils, this is your last chance. I only have maybe five to 10 of each and then that's it. Um, and when I say five to 10 of each, I package all of them in these nice, beautiful glass vials right when you get them, but they are, um, uh, cook. They're literally cooking, like bubbling in the meantime. So once they're packaged, they're complete, they're packaged fresh when you order. Um, but once I get rid of what's called the mother jar and the mother jar is the big, you know, the big cooker that has all the oils and herbs going in it. Um, once I get rid of that, that's it. There's no more. So um, cast off evil or it's go evil, away evil, something like that. I forget what I named it, but it's it's a cast off evil formula. And I have Moses oil. If you want wisdom, knowledge, if you are a magician, if you do Wicca, if you do um, uh, Gemetria, if you do, um, you know, any, uh, especially if you do anything with hermeticism, things like that. Moses oil is amazing. Okay. Amazing. Um, and it's really good for sealing work. Um, if you do work and you package everything up, if you know what I'm talking about, if you have an altar with some work on it and you package it up, it's good to seal it with Moses oil. Now the next oil I have coming up, I don't have it bottled, but I will have essence of bend over essence of bend over is making other people do what you want them to do. Okay. So that should be listed by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be listed. So go ahead and click down below. My store is right down below. There's links down below. There's ways to get a hold of me down below. And very last thing I'm going to tell you, don't forget the Mercari store. I know these are Christmas nails. Ooh, that one popped out. I know these are Christmas nails. Um, I have every kind of nail you could ever imagine these included. Um, I know the lockdowns are starting again. So if you want, um, if you're on budget, you get two sets of nails out of each box. Okay. 
I love these. Um, I wear them pretty much every video you can check out. I have some different kind of nail on. Um, check these out on my Mercari. They're usually, and it's everything's free shipping. So um, they're usually, I mean, they're anywhere from like five to, I think the most expensive one I have is 40, but it's like, those are like crazy, crazy, crazy rare specific nails. So they're usually in the, the $15 range for a box of nails. So you get two manicures. You, and these stay on for about two weeks. So for a month, you can have your nails looking fabulous for 15 bucks. So go ahead and check out my Mercari. Just Google Mama Delia. I'm on everything, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook, all the things. So go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much, Cancer. This turned into a much longer video. So thank you for hanging in there. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful January. If you're watching this in January, if you're watching this in February, get a hold of me. I will fix it. Have a great day, Cancer.